Welcome into this Photoshop in 30 seconds tutorial brought to you by tutvid.com. I'm Nathaniel Dodson. Let's take a look today as we go through all the tools and features and everything in Photoshop. Let's look at the path selection tool. Not the direct selection tool, the path selection tool. The path selection tool is a pretty simple tool to use, but it's very powerful and it's pretty essential. It's not flashy, it's not fancy, none of that stuff, but it's it's like, you know, pulling a hammer out of your uh, your toolbox and beginning to use it. So, let's jump in and take a look at this. In order to really learn how to use this, let's just create a path here. So I'm, you know, I'm actually going to create a shape layer, but I'm going to do it just, you know, like one, one single line, right? I just have this one path I've created. That's all I want, just kind of this swirl. And I'm going to hit the Enter or Return key, just because now I have, I've got a shape layer. Great, it's this path that just kind of serpentines across the middle of my image. I can double click on that path, right? I can change the color. Maybe we'll make it a bright blue. All right, great. Let's say we decide that we want to duplicate this path, or you know, build upon this path. Well, this is where the path selection tool comes into play. We can just select the path. When you use the path selection tool, you're selecting the entire path, every anchor point on the path and the path itself. This is in stark contrast to the direct selection tool, which allows you to get into the actual path itself and edit one, you know, one segment of the path or one anchor point on the path. The path selection tool is more of an overall editing tool that in mind, we can hold down like the Alt or Option key and click and drag and duplicate that path. And you can see we're not creating a new shape layer. It's right here within this same shape layer. In fact, if we go to our paths uh, panel, it's right there. It's, it's, it's part of the same path. Now we can create a brand new path by hitting like the, you know, new path icon. And then we can like highlight over both of these paths. We can Commander Control C to copy them, select on our new path, Commander Control V to paste them. Right now, if we move these paths, you're going to see there's no fill because it's just a path. We don't have any layer that's, you know, that that path is saying, hey, lay down a, a new vector shape on that layer. Now, if we do go down here to our adjustment layers, well, maybe not there. Let's, let's do it up here in the layers panel layer, new fill layer and choose solid color and say okay you can see we're going to get the same the same shape all right so we've created a new shape layer now from a path that we've duplicated in the paths panel i'm going to delete that path and you can see uh well i deleted the the whole shape but i want to delete the path we still oh no nope, i made a mistake i deleted the wrong path path one up here is the one that i need to delete there we go and we get rid of those paths that we duplicated all right so with that in mind, you can also just select a single path, right? So we've got these two paths on the same shape, and we can do something like, well, we can change the fill color, number one, right? You can set the fill to whatever you want. Now, this is going to change the fill, I should mention, as you just saw, for the entire shape. You can't just select one path with this tool and go and change, you know, the color for this path and that path. It's going to change the color of the entire shape. That's not necessarily a bad thing. You can also apply a stroke, some stuff like that. I'm going to go back. I'm just going to set it to a light blue, whatever. You can change the stroke width, stroke, you know, styling, all kinds of stuff like that, width and height of your uh, particular path. But what I want to cover here is these pathfinder options. Now, in part five of my, my PS in 30s, my Photoshop in 30 second tutorials on the pen tool, I cover path operations or what you might be uh, familiar with. It's called a pathfinder uh, in like Adobe Illustrator and, and other places. You can combine or subtract from different paths. So now I have this path right here selected, this one on top. So if I choose subtract front shape, well, you can see the entire thing disappears. But check this out. Not only can I work with Pathfinder stuff, but I can also do something like Command or Control T to free transform and I can rotate my path, right? I'm just rotating the top path and when it intersects with the path underneath, it's going to, well, as you see, just cut away the stuff uh, it's going to subtract from that shape. So it's going to cut away the stuff uh, that it's overlapping. All right. So you can see normally the shape on the bottom would run up just like that. But my path up top is cutting it off and giving us this nice kind of angle on the top. Well, I can select that path. Well, I, I can just select just select the, the that path right there, right? The one that we have set to subtract front areas. And I can just choose to save only the intersected shape areas, which means I'm only going to have sort of that, that triangle sharp shape left, right? Just like that. Or I can choose to just exclude those overlapping shapes. So I get everything except the area where they overlap and so on and so forth. You can merge the shape components. You can just go back to combine shapes, which means they're just going to be kind of living in there and interacting with one another, but not really cutting each other off or splicing together or anything like that. So the path selection tool in Photoshop, there's a ton you can do with it. Um, it's really what you're going to want to use once you've created a path or a selection or a path for selection, excuse me, with the pen tool. Uh, very powerful. You can transform all kinds of paths. You can do so many different things. Um, and one tip on the way out the door, check this out. Let's delete this shape layer. This is, this is the reason you want to stick around and, and watch the entire tutorial. Let's just create a little loop like this. All right. 
I'm going to commit that change. I'm going to get rid of, well, I got to grab my path selection tool, select this path. I'm going to get rid of the fill. Okay, so now it's just a path. I'm going to grab my text tool now. I'm going to set my foreground color to white. I want to, you know, write with white text. I'm going to set my font size to maybe we'll go with like 100. All right. And then when I hover over this path, you can see my my cursor gets like a little kind of serpentine path looking icon. That means you're creating text on the path. So we're going to go ahead and create text on the path and we're going to say fireworks exclamation point. All right. Let's highlight this text and make it much, much larger. Let's go like 400. All right. You know what? Let's make it even bigger. Now. Let's go 550. There we go. Cool. I'm going to commit that change. All right. Now with the text tool, this is pretty much what I can do. But with the path selection tool, I can select the text and I can drag it wherever I like along this path. So I can say, hey, you know what? I actually want the fireworks text way over here on this end, or maybe I want it centered. Or if I just click and drag it to the other side of the path, I can put it sort of on the inside of the path, if you will. So the path selection tool, as you're finding out, can do all kinds of really, really cool things. It can be extraordinarily powerful, and it can be useful when you're working virtually with anything that has to do with paths and shapes in Photoshop. So for the path selection tool in Photoshop, and finally for this Photoshop in 30 seconds tutorial, that's it. Get it? Got it? Good. NathanielDodsonTutvid.com. I'll catch you in the next one.